Hello, and welcome back to the Wasatch Moto Overland YouTube channel. Uh, today, I just wanted to do a brief review of this Alpicool uh, mini fridge that I bought about three years ago. Um, I'll just begin by saying I love this fridge. I just wanted to give you my take on it. So this is the, not the smallest version, um, but it's a pretty good size and it has this little opening in the top so you can actually fit looks like it fits 30 cans 15 pack of water nine ounces of <laughs> nine bottles of red wine excellent depending on how many people you have um, when you're camping usually um, it's just me and my wife so this something like this size would be um, is is perfect for us i use this a lot with my in my work truck um, just to keep cool beverages and my lunch and stuff cool um, and it's just been fantastic you can't even hear it running hardly right now um, you have to really listen for it and uh, as far as the battery usage it does really well most of the time if I want to just in the summertime just keep something cool I'll just leave this on and it has settings so right now it's on the L which is for low setting and you can adjust this to determine at what um, battery level this will turn off. So I'll show you how to do this real quick. So you go into settings here. You've got max and eco. And if you hold the settings knob, you can adjust this from high to low to medium. So I had it on low meaning when this is running it will get down to the lowest amount of battery juice before it will turn off and i never had an issue you know the next morning starting my truck so i pretty much always just leave it on low um, if you want to be more um, efficient when it comes to when this turns off and saves your battery and doesn't drain your battery i would leave it probably on medium or high um, but this will shut off pretty quickly and then very basic you've got your temp controls this can act as a fridge or a freezer i've uh, kept like popsicles and other frozen stuff in here before and it works super good this chart really shows uh, but it doesn't do it justice in like i feel like less than 15 minutes on a hot day it'll get this thing down to like 32 degrees and it really cools stuff off super fast also great for you know overlanding you can use this usb port if you need to charge your phone one other feature that i really like and i'm not sure if all of the fridges have this but this is plugged into a 110 outlet currently and it comes with two plugs so one uh, will run off of 12 volts and the other that adapter brings it up to 24 volts from a 110 outlet so the other one plugs into your cigarette lighter and you can run it off of your vehicle. But overall, it's not super heavy, it's pretty compact. And uh, yeah, I've, I've just been super pleased with it. So I just wanted to give you my uh, take on it. Overall, I would highly advise getting one. Um, it's been tried and tested. I've had it for three years. It's never given me a problem. And uh, like I said, it stays in my work truck bouncing around and uh, it's always done me good. So anyways, I just want to give you my take on it and uh, hopefully this helps you in making a decision on what fridge to get for your setup. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure and uh, like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, as always, make sure and subscribe to the channel for more uh, great content. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day and we'll catch you on the next one later.